Hello and welcome to PMZLounge.com. In this quick video, we are going over a minor topic, a small topic of sorts known as risk trigger. So if you are into reading articles, as always, first link in the description is going to take you to an article on risk trigger over at our official website, PMZLounge.com. So check that out. And if you are into watching videos, if you want to see every single video that we have done on risk management knowledge area, then second link in the description will take you to an entire playlist of the same. Also, third link is a playlist that contains every single video of the lounge fever series of risk management. That is where we have answered your questions on risk management knowledge area. So three important links, check them out. Let's get started and understand risk trigger. So first of all, we have already discussed a topic, a concept known as watch list. So you already know a watch list is where you are tracking low priority risks. Now, a question that you may have is that your project anyways contains too many documents why do you want to create yet another document known as the watch list and that too only to track low priority risks why do you need to track low priority risks in the first place so one of the biggest reasons that you need to do so is that you should be continuously monitoring these low priority risks just in case situations change situations is the keyword here so in more specific terms if these situations change in the favor of these low priority risks and all of a sudden these low priority risks become more likely to materialize. So that is the reason why you should be keeping a close eye on your watch list, not just creating it, but keeping a close eye on it as well, just in case situations change. So these situations that make your low priority risk more likely to occur or more likely to materialize these situations are known as risk triggers so let's take an example if your office does not have any electricity backup and the weather forecast says that there is a chance of heavy rainfall you could create a risk for your watch list that the office may not have electricity supply if this heavy rainfall turns into a thunderstorm right so that losing electricity that's something which is a low priority risk in your watch list remember the weather forecast only says heavy rainfall it doesn't say anything about the thunderstorm but later in the day if you realize that the weather conditions have changed and now the thunderstorm looks more likely this is a risk trigger the losing of the risk of losing electricity has now multiplied because the risk trigger was that the weather conditions the situations changed during the day as it was raining heavily so a change in weather condition that was the risk trigger in this case i hope you were able to understand risk triggers and its example as well so that's all that we had in this video do smash that like button if you got value out of it and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new content as always, don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you and have a nice day.